news here. All right, so Ubisoft, man, <laughs> like, I swear we could never stop talking about them. But this time, I mean, even though it's, it's obviously dealing, dealing around video games, but this one isn't dealing with Star Wars Outlaws or Assassin's Creed Shadows. This one is dealing with the entire company. And there was recent news that said Ubisoft is considering a buyout with Tencent to take the company private. And this is wild, but actually not, it's not very surprising to me, given that over the years, Ubisoft has not been doing the best. Uh, we all know that Assassin's Creed in that series is their bread and butter. And if you aren't, if you aren't doing well with Assassin's Creed, then yeah, I, I think that it's going to have a trickle down effect with everything else. But we saw they taking a lot of L. They like said, I like their franchise, but they were taking a lot of L's. And the latest L was unfortunately Star Wars Outlaws. And we talked about that in my last video. And obviously this Assassin's Creed Shadows news, which they ended up delaying it because, you know, it, it seemed to be inevitable at this point. You had to fix the things that people were complaining about in this game and you have to try your best to shut down the narrative that uh that you know people on the internet have been barking up over these past months ever since the game got announced so now we're at this point now we're at this point and it's why well, <laughs> i think i'm more i'm not surprised about this but i i'm more surprised that it's 10 cent that's in this event i'm like man 10 cent please like y'all pretty much own a stake in like a lot of things like even even companies that you probably wouldn't even know about uh but epic is, is one of one of the main ones that tencent has has stake in so tencent literally is about to buy up the entire planet if if we let them so that's what i'm really just like uh ubisoft maybe y'all should reconsider i know tencent got a lot of money but do you really want to want to sell to them man and let and let them buy y'all out uh yeah y'all maybe should reconsider but uh, reading this article here, said a major change could be coming at Ubisoft sooner rather than later. According to a new report by Bloomberg, the founders of Ubisoft, uh, the Guillemot family, are considering a buyout from Tencent. Uh, the discussions come after what has been the most tumultuous year in the company's history. Ubisoft has seen its shares fall for 11 year lows, which people keep sharing screenshots for. And, and the funny thing is, after this news came out, then their shares went up like 30%. So <laughs> I swear that always is going to happen. They're like, oh man, why as well get in there why you can so so people have been buying up shares again so their stock has been going up uh, a game like star wars outlaws which you mentioned before struggled to sell and its biggest franchise has created to seeing this next game delayed to 2025. the chinese tech company and Guillemot brothers uh limited um have been speaking with advisors to help explore ways to stabilize ubisoft and bolster its value it said that one of the options on the table would involve taking the company private that said, talks are at an early stage with no certainty that an agreement will be reached. Tencent and the Guillemot family are also considering other alternatives. I wonder what those other alternatives could be. The idea of Ubisoft going private isn't new. Recently, there was a major push from smaller investors to do just that. So that's, that's interesting. The smaller investors have been uh, urging the Guillemot family to do this. Uh, for a minute now uh, it says even gotten support from at least 10 percent of the company's shareholders so the investors and the shareholders are both they they both have been chirping as a collective and have been have been asking for this uh tencent currently owns 10 percent, so they already own 10 percent of ubisoft so this is what i didn't know like i said 10 uh tencent owns a lot of companies that you probably wouldn't even know i didn't even know that they already owned a share of ubisoft so they're considering just fully buying them out which is which is crazy. The company founded by the Guillemot family in 1986. Dang, so they've been around since 1986. All right. Uh, dang, they say as part of the aforementioned push for sale by investors, they have also seen requests to remove, <laughs> damn, to remove the founder. Wow. It's crazy, man. When you, when you don't own, you know, your company or you own the majority of your company, but other people also own the stake in you, you know, they, they can make these decisions or, or, you know, urge, urge you know other people who also own the stake to uh to to push you out so it, it's wild man cold game out here uh and it said neither ubisoft for 10 cent have commented but now now today actually not today but uh from a few days ago 
Uh, but uh, actually, this is not it. So this was this was actually for today. Excuse me. Uh, Ubisoft acknowledges the recent buyer report. So they say, yeah, yeah, this is this is true. Uh, so again, in this article last week, uh, the new report, which we already read, that they're considering a buyout. Um, and in the statement shared with Eurogamer, Ubisoft said that they have noted recent press speculation regarding potential interest around the company. It regularly reviews all the strategic options in the interest of its stakeholders and will inform the market if and when appropriate. Uh, the company reiterates that management is currently focused on executing the strategy. And we uh, we read that before we were talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows, uh, what Ubisoft wants to focus on. They want to focus on open world adventures and games as a service native experiences. So, uh, and like I said before, uh, last week, Ubisoft stock increased by over 30% ever since that Bloomberg article came out. So like, that's crazy, man. Uh, and the article continues as if, as for if the buyout happens and whether it will improve Ubisoft standing in the game industry remains to be seen, but developers supposed to insider gaming are understandably nervous about the future. So, man, that'll be, that'll be interesting. And I think it'll honestly get worse. Uh, to be honest, if Tencent of all companies was the one to buy out Ubisoft. I mean, Tencent already pretty much has all the live service games under their belt. Uh, so they're going to just double and maybe even triple down on live service games and games as a service. I think it's going to further dilute the overall value of Ubisoft. Like, I don't think it's going to get any better with them buying them out. Like, sometimes you could tell, hey, man, you know, that company bought them out. They acquired them or whatever or you all merge together um this will end up being a good situation for everybody but i don't think so i think tencent just wants to eventually rule the world like i mentioned before i think they just want to they want to have stake in everything just so they can be like hey just as a collective as a full collective we own a lot of stuff so we we basically again just own the world like this it's wild it's wild what tencent has been have been doing like a lot of this stuff behind the scenes that people just aren't aware of that when people hear about tencent they just talk about the games but they're not talking about how much that they've invested and have stake in a lot of companies across the world so it's super wild man it's it's super wild so we'll see what happens with this but um i think overall yeah ubisoft maybe does need to sell but i'm just very concerned on who these rumors are are saying might buy them out and who already owns 10% of your company. That's the thing that I'm afraid of. Yeah, it, it does suck to see them like this. Honestly, it does see, suck to see them like this. But I think they've just been making the wrong decisions. I mean, you you have the Star Wars IP. That ended up not selling as well. I don't even know why you bought the Avatar IP. Like, nobody asked for that. Nobody. Uh, the only person who I seen play the Avatar game was Ace. Like, legit. He was the only person I seen play that game. Like, I had no interest in playing that game at all. I don't even like Avatar like that. It's it's New World Pocahontas. So, my wife likes it. I don't I don't like Avatar. Like, yeah, it's, 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 all right. As far as just the technical achievements, it's a, it's a big tech demo to me. But I didn't like the story at all. I didn't like the story at all. So, nobody wants to see that. Uh, ended up being a first-person shooter anyway. So, I'm just like, who who even asked for this? Who asked for this? Far Cry ended up not being being as good as it as it uh, as it once was. Uh, people started really not liking Far Cry after three because people acknowledged Far Cry three to be one of the one of the best Far Cry. So uh, the division, you know, had its moments, but overall didn't do as well. Uh, Splinter Cell, people have been asking for that. Y'all still have not brought brought back out another Splinter Cell. Y'all need to do that. Uh, when is it? When is it going to be time to listen to the people? Like Ubisoft is making a lot of decisions and aren't considering what the actual consumer aka us wants and that's why i feel like they are ultimately have been making a lot of missteps and now we're at this point right now we're at this point you all claim that you were going to stop making annual assassin's creed games but you're still popping them out now there's another uh there's another piece of news that y'all are going to remake black flag like who asked for black flag to be remade we're not like again that's something that nobody is asking for we're just continuing with all these Assassin's Creed, all these Assassin's Creeds, but you're not trying to make new innovative IPs and you're not giving people continuations of franchises that people are actually asking for. Like um, like Ghost Recon. The last the last the couple Ghost Recons have not hit. 
the way that like future soldier did like in advanced warfare like none of those are, are are hitting none of those are what people ask for so again we're going back and we're just making bad decisions here listen to what the people want i don't see why this is so difficult to be honest i don't see why this is so difficult the the shareholders and stakeholders really need to read the room you need to read the room because this isn't this isn't just a ubisoft problem these these shareholders investors stakeholders and the ceos of all of these companies do not understand what it is to be at the bottom what the people are actually asking for all you care about is what was the thing that made your company the most money whatever that is we're just going to continue making more of that and that is not the the route that you want to go when it comes to business that is not the route that you want to go at all this is leading to downfall to your downfall this is leading to layoffs this is leading to your consumers aka the gamers bringing up this whole dei stuff this is why the the gamers are saying that hey this girl who you put in this star wars game doesn't look like that in real life you made her ugly like these are why these things are happening <laughs> Like, if you just made what the people wanted and made them quality of quality, you wouldn't have these problems. Why Why was it take, why does it take someone like me to understand this and for you up top, Ubisoft, to not understand that? I don't get it. I don't get it. So we'll see what happens. At least Ubisoft has acknowledged it. And I think eventually they are going to sell their company or go private or one. Because I don't think they can honestly sustain with this. Like I said before, if, if Assassin's Creed Shadow bombs, I think that's it. I think that's going to be the nail in the coffin for Ubisoft. Because I don't think, honestly, that there's anything else that they can do to, to bring them back after that. You have to you have to do well with the Assassin's Creed Shadow. That's going to be really your last hurrah here. Because no other Assassin's Creed is going to do that after that. If Assassin's Creed Shadow flops, then the entire franchise and the entire company, to be honest, is, is it's probably going to tank here. It's probably going to tank. It's going to be tainted. It's going to like people are going to be like, nah, we're we're done with y'all. We're done with y'all. So we'll see. We'll see what we saw. But keep your head up. Like I said, I don't want y'all to sell, but I think this is forcing the route that y'all are probably going to have to go. Um, but let's go on the other side. <laughs> let's talk about good companies. <laughs> let's talk about companies that are thriving here. From software, one of the best video game companies out there right now. Uh, they're actually increasing <laughs> the salary of their employees. So clap it up to them, man. Where's my applause? Clap it up to them. Let's fucking stop! Stop! Bang, bang. <laughs> you, you love to see it. You love to see it. It's like, hey, man, we've done so well. What up, Melody? We've done so well with the game that we brought out that hey we can give our employees more money how about that and also in this article it says that they are offering more to new graduates or letting graduates in fresh off the street soaking wet and allowing them to come into the company and get benefits man clap it up man that's great that's some great that's some great news man that is some great news so let's continue to read this article um, so the last couple of years have been pretty tough for the uh, on the game industry. So good news pieces like this always appreciated. I agree. Uh, per a recent press release, it has been revealed that From Software, the developer behind games like Elden Ring, Bloodborne, and Sekiro, is boosting basic salaries for enrolled employees by approximately 11.8%. Do y'all know what the standard base salary increases are year to year? 3%. Now, do you think, especially with inflation, that we can live off of a 3% increase every year? That's that's your raise, really? 3%, that's all you're gonna give me? Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. That's why people are still struggling because 3% is not enough year after year. You have inflation on basic necessities like groceries. You have crazy rent increases on apartments. They're actually pretty insane right now. So 3% ain't it. So 11% sounds amazing. I think the minimum should be 6% to be honest. And that's minimal. That's, that's still barely being generous. But the, the standard should really be 6%. But 11 
0.8% is, is amazing. But let's continue here. Not only that, but the firm is also gracing new graduates entering the business with higher monthly salaries, offering an increase from 260 yen to 300,000 yen. So uh, US 1776 to 2,049 dollars for new graduates. Uh, in the wake of so many studio closures and layoffs, it's nice to see that From Software is flourishing, recognize the need to reward workers and foster a positive working environment. I think the day, and again, I'm, I'm, I definitely do not want this to happen, but the day that I possibly hear something going on from From Software, man, that's going to be something I'm like, yo, I can't believe it. So I really hope that we never hear anything going on that's toxic about From Software, even if it came to like, hey, they had a crunch. I don't even want to hear that. I want From Software to continue to thrive. I want them to be flawless. I want them to keep doing what they do, and I don't want anything to derail them. Uh, I say at From Software, we try to make games that convey emotion, create value, and inspire joy. To this end, we are working towards stable income and a rewarding work environment where our employees can apply themselves to development. The increase in base and starting salaries is one implementation of this policy. So they say, oh, we have more. It was a few months back that From Software's president, uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki, spoke strongly about the ways of redundancy that have been slowly chipping away at the industry for almost two years. Uh, speaking to myself and this company, I want to say that it is, this is not something I would wish on the staff at From Software in a million years. Well, I can't say 100%, we can't say with complete certainty what the future is going to hold for, um, uh, for From and uh, Kadokawa. At least as long as the company is my responsibility, that's something I would not let happen. Now, that's a leader right there. I remember we read that statement, but that is that is a true leader right there. He's like, yo, I don't see anything that's going on uh, in the industry happening to me and my company. I want this company to thrive and it's his responsibility. So he really sounds like he understands what's going on and he's taking full accountability. Like this is this is the leader that you want this. Uh, 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 this is a leader who sounds like he talks to his employees and he talks to the developers and he understands their needs and he wants to make sure that they all win. So that's great. 